Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Willis and welcome back to You Will Love AP Gov. Thanks for joining me for another video on one of the required Supreme Court cases for AP U.S. government. In this video, we're covering United States versus Lopez, the landmark Supreme Court case that marked a major turning point in the interpretation of the Commerce Clause and reaffirmed the principle of limited federal power. If you're taking notes for your AP class or prepping for the AP exam, remember to click on the link below and download the free guided notebook page to make it easier to follow along. Let's break it down. In 1992, a 12th grade student, Alfonso Lopez Jr., was arrested for bringing a concealed firearm to Edison High School in San Antonio, Texas. Initially, he was charged under Texas state law for firearm possession on school property. However, these charges were soon dropped when federal authorities stepped in and charged him under the Gun-Free School Zones Act of 1990, a federal statute that prohibited firearm possession within a school zone. Lopez's defense argued that the federal government had no constitutional authority to regulate gun possession in local schools, as this was a matter traditionally left to state and local governments. The federal government, on the other hand, justified its actions by claiming that gun violence in schools has a significant impact on the national economy, thereby falling under Congress's power to regulate interstate commerce. The case quickly escalated through the federal court system, leading to a showdown in the U.S. Supreme Court. The key constitutional question in the case was, did Congress have the authority under the Commerce Clause to enact the Gun-Free School Zones Act? The Commerce Clause, found in Article 1, Section 8, gives Congress the power to regulate commerce among the states. Over the years, the Supreme Court had interpreted this clause broadly, allowing Congress to regulate various economic activities, but was carrying a gun in a school zone an economic activity that affected interstate commerce. In a narrow 5-4 decision, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of Lopez, declaring the Gun-Free School Zones Act unconstitutional. This decision was a major major shift in Commerce Clause jurisprudence, as it was the first time in over 50 years that the court had limited Congress's power under this clause. Chief Justice William Rehnquist, writing for the majority, held that carrying a gun in a school zone was not an economic activity and did not substantially affect interstate commerce. The court reasoned that if Congress could justify regulating guns in schools under the Commerce Clause, then virtually any activity could fall under federal jurisdiction, eroding the distinction between state and federal power. The ruling emphasized the importance of maintaining a system of federalism, where certain powers remain with the states. United States v. Lopez marked the beginning of a new era in federalism, setting a precedent for future cases that challenge the limits of congressional power. It reinforced the idea that not all activities can be regulated under the Commerce Clause and prompted Congress to more carefully justify its legislative actions under constitutional provisions. The ruling continues to be cited in legal debates on the scope of federal authority, particularly in cases related to education, gun control, and economic regulation. And that's everything you need to know about United States v. Lopez. You can click here for additional videos for AP U.S. government. And be sure to check out my videos on AP macroeconomics and AP microeconomics as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content on AP government and economics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on You Will Love AP Gov.